In 1996, the government introduced legislation giving communities the power to create their own conservancies and benefit from wildlife conservation activities. Following this, the Sun people in Chumque in 1998 formed the Nyanyai Conservancy, which they've been managing and benefited from wildlife on communal land, and the Conservancy also allowed the local community to work with private companies to create and manage their own tourism market. As a token of appreciation, members are given cash incentives, and this financial year saw each member receiving at least $840. Apart from the ones of annual cash payment, the people here also make a living from the selling of devil's claw to the conservancy while they are also allowed to hunt for specific game species using traditional methods, namely bow and arrow. According to a member of the conservancy management committee, Heki Gao, members of the conservancy have been receiving this cash benefit since its inception in 1998. Gao says the cash payments are a reward to members for looking after their natural resources in a sustainable manner. The conservancy generates income through trophy hunting, sales of devil's claw, and it also receives money from film production companies which shoot movies and documentaries in the area. Since the inception of this conservancy up to now, we still have wealth, we still have trophy hunting. You can still have tourists coming here, they can watch, they can see the the game in the field, you can see that we are generating the money from the trophy hunters are still getting what they need in the bush. They are still hunting, they can find it. The trees, if you want, but we did not yet start with the chopping of trees. That one we see it as a less because we don't want to exploit our area. However, managing wildlife in the conservancy has its own setbacks. Always, if you are managing the natural resources of the community, there's always a challenges. When it comes to a villages where you put up some water points, you always find elephants there destroying the points. You have to get some funds to repair those things. That's one of the challenges. And the other challenges is, is also when we come to the benefit distribution, you see our number always increasing. We need more funds to cater all our members in order to sustain, even sustain our conservancy office as a whole. Operational cost plus the members. Those are the challenges that we are facing with. One of the recipients, Tunda Bo, was happy to receive his share, saying he would use the money to buy basic necessities for his family and advised others to do the same. With the money which I just received, I will be able to buy for myself blankets and food to feed my family, and the money which I will receive in the future, I will use it to buy livestock. But others wanted other rewards than cash. I am not happy with the fact that the Conservancy is giving us money. Instead of the cash benefits, the Conservancy Management Committee must buy livestock and distribute it to the members. The Nyanyai Conservancy is home to different wildlife species, which includes the Big Five as well as various indigenous plants.